February the 15th. Uh, lake levels a little over 916. It's come up about a foot and a half since the recent rain we've had. Uh, I haven't done a fishing report in about a month, the whole month of January. I was in Texas fishing. So now that I got back home, I've uh, got to get out and do a little fishing so I can give you up to date on the fishing report. But I talked to Ray at Extreme Outdoors today and they're having their annual fishing swap meet a week from this weekend. And she said she had a couple cancellations on a table. So if you're interested in renting a table to sell tackle, uh, you need to get a hold of her by Friday. That's Ray at Extreme Outdoors. But as far as the fishing, uh, you know, the water temperature, this morning it was like 42 degrees, and it got up to about 47. Uh, earlier in the week I fished up by Big M, then another day I fished from Shell Knob to Big Creek, and uh, actually had a really good day up there Saturday. We had, I don't know, about 11 keepers. Uh, they came on a, a McStick jerkbait and a little swim bait, a little big bite pro swimmer. A lot of the jerkbait fish were right off main lake points or just inside of them around cedar trees. You know, the trees were in about 15 to 20 foot. And a lot of the swim bait fish were relatively shallow. I'm going to say 8 to about 15 foot just off of main lake points uh, where there was breaks close by. Now, today I fished in the, from Kimberling up towards Big Creek. And, uh, you know, they bit pretty decent early, but then as the sun come out, uh, I guess the fish didn't like the sun as much as I liked it. You know, it was, it's a, a gorgeous day out there today. And it's kind of bluebird from the conditions that we've had the past few days. But a lot of my main deal again today was a jerk bait and a little swim bait. And that little swim bait, it's kind of my go-to deal when nothing else works. I can usually pick that up and catch some fish. Now, some of them I'm catching over the tops of trees, but I'm not fishing super deep trees. I've been targeting trees that are in, you know, 25 foot of water or less, and uh, looking for the fish in the tops of them and around them, and the same with the jerk bait. On the jerk bait colors, I'm kind of mixing them up, depending on the color of the water. Up in that shell knob, the Campbell Point area, there's a good stain in the water. It's by no means dirty, but it's just got a nice, pretty green color. So up there, I'm using, little darker colors, almost like a clown, something with a little little black and a little gold. And then uh, in the clearer water, I'm using more natural baits like a blue bandit, uh, chartreuse ghost, you know, uh, like a translucent bait. But on my swim bait, a couple different swim baits I'm throwing. One is a, it's a big bite jerk minnow. And basically it's like a little Demiki rig or a little tiny flute. And sometimes I think in this colder water, uh, less action is better. But I am mixing it up with like a, a 2.8 or a 3.3 uh, regular swim bait with a paddle tail as well, just kind of see which one works a little bit better. But usually the rig I throw this on, I'm throwing it on a, a seven foot medium Halo uh, KS Elite 2 rod. And I'm throwing, uh, my main line is, is 12 pound plasma sun braid. And then the leader I use is, it's a plasma rise, but it's an eight pound, real thin diameter line. And uh, I really have good success with this, especially right now where the bite is so light and so subtle, you can really feel everything on this setup here. And you can fish all day long without retying pretty much with that braid. You just gotta retie here. But the, the pro swimmer head seems to work about the best for me. It's got a fairly small hook, so it matches the length of the bait real well. And a quarter ounce is mainly what I've been throwing. If I'm, if I'm out there fishing a little deeper, I will go to a three eighths. Now there's a lot of other things happening. I mean, every day as the water gets a little warmer, the fish are going to start biting a little bit better and there's going to be more and more shallow fish. There's still a ton of fish out there deep. I haven't really been targeting them. I've been looking for the fish that are, are what I feel like are moving up out of the deep water. And it's a really good time of the year. If you don't like fishing out there in that open water, uh, live scoping and, you know, chasing them individual fish around, fishing a jerk bait, pick up a crankbait. Uh, it's rock crawl time. 
you know, anything in the reds and browns, depending on the water color. If you get into some stained water, you might want something with a little chartreuse in it. Now you got to fish them slow. Just keep them grinding on the bottom. On the bottom, fish a lot of channel swings. Any place where the bank changes from like a chunk rock to a pea gravel. And also, it's the time if you like to fish slow, pick up a little jig. This is a I'll throw a five fish ultimate finesse jig. And it's probably one of the few times of the year that I'll throw a 5 16 ounce jig. I like a real small profile jig. This is a little kamikaze, big bite kamikaze craw, and I'll actually shorten it up a little bit for the trailer. On this one here, I've got a little Strike King structure bug, and I do the same with it. I take about a quarter inch off of it, so it's a real small profile. But good place to fish these is around the docks, and even though you're throwing a 5 16 Especially like today when the sun was up, it's a perfect day to fish from the backs of the docks up to about 12 feet. And you really catch some good quality fish, but you just got to slow down, you know, fish real slow. A lot of times I'll go to a, you know, 10 pound line, which can be kind of scary flipping around the docks. But for the most part, the fish are pretty lethargic. And I feel that that lighter line, you know, gets you a few more bites. And... By shrinking down the size of my trailer, it allows that 5 16 bait to fall a little faster than, like, say, a 7 16 jig would with the bulk of your trailer. So, you know, it's a good thing to try if you don't like fishing the open water, if you like to, like to fish a jig. Also, you can fish a, a jig in a lot of the same places if you've got any kind of crankbait bite going on these channel swings and the bite dies off. Pick up that little jig and just, you know, work the rock down. But uh, I'm sure winter's not over. We're probably going to get some more, but the next week looks looks pretty dang good. So it should be warming up a little bit each day. So till next week, uh, good luck, good fishing.